we need to be shut. Well, I don't know why. Because we are getting ready in an individual battle with Satan. And if you're not prepared by his word, hey, we got a cause. Randy, there's a cause that we got to do this. And that cause is the devil don't like you and he'll take you out. Amen. I'm not scared to get up and tell you you're going to hell if you're not right. Amen. And you know I read it from the book. I read it word for word. It comes out of his mouth, not mine. What's the matter with that? And there's another thing I like. is faithful. Read your book from Genesis to Matthew. And from Matthew to Revelations. You show me one place where God, His Son, or He the Holy Spirit has ever let anyone down. Through, and I've wandered through the world and all its beauty. I don't know what I'll find when I cross that river to the other side. But the good book says, Believer, when you get there, heaven's light, all memories will fade. Time to see by His grace the Master's face. It won't be easy to say goodbye to everyone I've loved here in this land. But when He calls me, I will go and leave my brothers and dear sisters here below. When you know that your departure is at hand 
Everybody sitting in this congregation today, the time is at hand. We cannot wait any more time because we know our departure is at hand. And Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I finished my course. And he said, now I have, how did I do that? I kept the faith. Now, we're turning to scriptures again. How do, how do we fight spiritually? One reason, Brother Leonard, that so many people, Robert, you mentioned it too. One reason that so many people get beat out of church by the devil is because they're not properly, properly fed with God's Word. If every one of us will remember that I can do all things. If I look at that mountain and say it's too steep for me to climb, and then I'll say, now I'm talking about a spiritual mountain, and I can say, now wait there. I know I can because the Lord said He strengthens me and He'll give me the help to get up that mountain. I don't even love what the Word of God says, Robert. Listen, the Bible says, stand therefore. It don't say lay down. It says, stand therefore, having your Lord's going about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Now listen, your Lord's going with the truth. You can't stand without the truth. Because there's been so many lies told today by the anti-Christ and the anti-prophets and the anti-preachers, you don't know what to believe anymore. I've said this many, many, many times. You know, there's people today, and like I said, uh, we had some visitors last, last Sunday morning, and the Lord gave me a sermon. What are you looking for? Guys, what we need to start looking for, and not as what the preacher, not in what the church has, but what does God got in store for us? If we're in the will of God, He's going to show you where you need to be and what you need. Amen. See, I can be honest with you. I'm not the preacher for the whole world. There is a lot of people, Miss Tina, it don't hurt my feelings. There's good God-fearing Christians that don't like my kind of preaching. Mm -hmm. There is. There are soft, easy-talking preachers that knows the Bible, and they teach it. They preach it, not in maybe the way that I do. But still yet, the Bible says that you've got to know the truth. What does the Bible say about the truth? The truth will set you free. Amen. I can do all things through Christ, through Christ which strengthens me. And old Paul once again said, hey, told Timothy, hey, hey, listen, I fought that fight, but I had to put it all on. I couldn't leave nothing behind. Uh, he's talking about spiritually. He said, I couldn't lay my Bible down, Robert. I couldn't take off the, 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 the girl of truth. I couldn't lay down the breastplate. He said, I couldn't take on the helmet of salvation. He said, I couldn't have to be shod with the gospel. Right here today, guys, we're getting shod with the gospel. Amen. Because that day is going to come. And you guess what? Miss Marie, the preacher will help you fight a battle. But we fight them battles alone. No, not alone. You and Christ fight the battle. And everybody here, seriously, now I don't mean this as a joke. I'm dead serious. Every one of us needs an attitude change. Man. Man. A spiritual attitude change. We're going to look at it spiritually, and we're going to look at it through the Scripture as a physical fight, and we want to bring that physical fight into a spiritual fight. Today, we look around and the people of this world are damning our God. They're putting Him down. Leonard, is there not a cause that many you make a stand? Is there not a cause that everybody here stand up and take notice. You start on cause. I can do all things through Jesus Christ, through Christ Jesus, who strengthens me. We can do it, guys.